My name is Richard Bailey and we've been watching South Seas Football Club since 1945. And you're watching Manners TV. So Mark, was that another good worker for the lads here? Yeah, I think it's vital really that um, we we get games in. Um, so good to get 90 minutes in last week and then obviously again today. I think uh, with, it, with it rolling on so long now, the training you know probably isn't enough anymore. So those games should do the lads a world of good, yeah. How, how impressed have you been with the two performances over the last seven days? Yeah, good. I mean, it's always difficult, obviously, playing on an artificial pitch. Um, although we used to train on them, it's, it's a little bit different when it's in, in a game. And, and obviously, we want to give all the lads minutes as well. So sometimes it's a little bit difficult with chopping and changing a little bit or only getting 45 minutes. But I think I think we've done ever so well in both the games, yeah. It's two Division 1 sides that you've beaten as well, isn't it? So it's a, a good sort of standard that you're playing against? Yeah, I mean... Uh, Again, that's that's probably been a good thing. I think to have good tests um, for for the lads in the games, and the both both games have been good tests for us. And um, obviously, we're more more than capable of uh, of uh, matching those teams. A great early start there. Two goals from set pieces. Was that something that you kind of targeted before the game to, to sort of have a goal from set pieces? I mean, obviously, it's always nice. Um, but yeah, we got got the good start, and I felt we started the game really well, actually. Um, for the first 20-25 minutes, probably up to when we scored the second goal, um, we played ever so well. Um, the possession was very good, we moved the ball around well, and um, our, our work rate and our pressing was very good early on. Um, probably took our foot off it a little bit after that, and then I felt we went a little bit scrappy second half, to be honest. Allowed them back into it a bit, but we came back strong in the last 10 minutes. And do you feel they're ready for a competitive game now? Oh, the lads are... Yeah, the chomping at the bit for a game, um, and obviously, the amount of times it's been arranged and rearranged and called off that we, you know it's the getting to the day of the game and getting the getting the text or the phone call that it's off. Mm. You know, I think it's is the disappointing thing for the lads, um, and obviously, the kind of the new one of it being a Friday. Um, you know, obviously for last night it was uh, everyone was looking forward to it, um, but yeah, we've just got to crack on. We've just got to. We've just got to be as ready as we can when the game comes along and I've said to them in there that I think the, the amount of training we've done but also with the two games that we're, we're probably going to be as well prepared as we possibly could be. And good to see a few fans at the day as well and another couple of hundred there so the still interested <laughs> in it. So. Yeah, yeah, we said we should have had a bucket. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, uh, it's, it's great It's great to see uh, the interest is, is obviously still there. It's a shame that... Uh, the momentum in terms of the support that we were building uh, before before the kind of break we've had over the winter, that's maybe disappeared a little bit. But you know, hopefully by um, getting these friendlies on and keeping people interested that way, then they'll still keep coming back. I'm sure.